What a beautiful resonance, beautiful time to expand, live, create, and co-create with world leaders, experts, divine light being. So honored to be here with all of you today. If you are watching this show, perhaps consider to Take a few deep breaths because the wisdom that will be shared and transmitted in your heart consciousness today is powerful. Those wisdoms are to share abundantly from those who are um, gifted and talented to really expand in uh, conscious conversation. And my guest today is a pioneer in a holistic world and leadership. And she is an expert, but Understand, she is a sister, a divine sister, a friend. I admire her so much. And we are going to be co-creating a conversation together. And let me introduce my beautiful, expert, mystical entrepreneur that I love so dearly, so dearly. Her name is Michelle Gelfin, and she goes by Michal. So we are all going to learn to speak in her language today. Michal, it, I love that. It's, her name symbolizes light language. It's so pure, so beautiful. So Michal is the founder and CEO of My Desired Outcome Academy. She's going to speak to us about what it takes to step in to your power so you can reach that place to manifest, to create your, to, to create your goals. You know, and she helps individuals and groups to reach their desired outcome through holistic, results-oriented coaching, workshops, lectures. By the way, I just saw her spoke in a leadership event just a few days ago. She was magnificent. Her wisdom is absolutely so beautifully done and very unique and so simple to absorb. And you'll see what I'm t telling you right now. Michelle holds a MBA and BA in linguistic and is an expert in neuro linguistic programming NLP that, that is guided imaginary and positive psychology. She's passionate about empowering and guiding others to achieve their desired outcome. Well calm my beautiful divine friend, Michal. What a beautiful time for you to, to share this vibration with all of us. How are you, my friend? Thank you. Thank you, Juju, for this beautiful introduction. And I'm so moved and excited to share this place with you. I send you lots of love, Juju, yes. and I love your energy. It's beautiful and it's amazing, you know, we met again at the leadership conference and I just noted to you that, you know, I'm just thinking about you and in some ways we even having our clothes match. Mm -hmm. So in the leadership conference, both of us were white and we didn't, you know, coordinated this. And oh. here we didn't coordinate in my necklace. Look at that. Resembles your colors. Look at right? this. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. This is what's so yes. cool when we're in alignment with others on the higher path. Those connections are beyond wealth because connections are the wealth. Oh, Michal. So would you rather be called Michal or Michelle? So yes, I would like to uh, share with you, and each one has a journey, and you were also an immigrant to the U.S., yes, um, and, and me, uh, I moved to the States, I moved to California, to the Silicon Valley area about seven years ago with my family from Israel, and so for 40 years I went by Micha, that's my given name, mm. it's a name from the Bible. Mm. Um, 
And when I moved to the States, people find it hard to pronounce that sound. It doesn't exist in English. It's mm. easier for <laughs> French people like you because well, they haven't... <laughs> or gypsies, because even French or can't gypsies. even pronounce, pro you know, French are very rigid in their way they think, like they can't even pronounce it. So it's like... Yes, but I tell you the letters, you know, I have a BA in linguistics and I yes. know that in this, and I also studied French for six years. Yes. I, I used to work in the high tech industry for 14 years before I made the shift to the holistic space. Yes. That was over a decade ago. Um, so, and I worked in an international French company. And when I visited France, ah. yes, I visited France and I didn't know a word. So I said, because in school I studied Arabic a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and my father, by the way, um, came from Iraq. He was born in Iraq, so his oh. native language is Arabic. Inshallah. Well, then, um, inshallah. Ah, inshallah. Um, but then, uh, and, and my mother, by the way, she was a refugee from World War II because my oh. grandmother was born in Poland. So she ran away and then they came to Israel. Um, and so when I went to um, to France and I didn't know any French and I really wanted for me language is a way for human connection mm, mm. it's really a way for human mm, connection mm. and so I started studying French and in the French um, sounds there is the R sound or mm -hmm. R mm. right R, R. R. The R. R sound. Oui, the R. Mm -hmm. and so it's very back here when you pronounce it and it's very similar to the sound <laughs> Like, a, deux, trois, right? A, deux, trois. Oui. You ah. have the ch sound. Oui. Arbre, les arbres. You have the in, in, in French. Oui. And oui. so I remember even back then in Israel, I spoke with someone who was from France and she wrote my name in her contact list and she spelled my name. In Israel, I would spell it with CH. Uh, but since CH in France is ch Chal. sound, right? Michelle. She wrote it M I R A L. I told her my name is not with an R, but she said, yeah, This is how I pronounce your name. Miral. Miral. That's more Hispanic now. Miral. <laughs> yes. And so when I came to the States and American people cannot pronounce the sound, mm -hmm. all of a sudden it was mm -hmm. off to my ears. Mm -hmm. And I'm very musical as well. And mm -hmm. I, I love the sounds of music as mm -hmm. you play. And I used mm -hmm. to play the guitar as well when I was young. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden they said my name. It didn't sound like my name anymore because they couldn't say it right. <laughs> so I said, I, I, I can't. And the sound sounded harsh in English to me when I spoke English. So I said, okay, but... For about two years, I was in an ident identity conflict. I said, how do, how do I present myself? How do I go by my name? Right. So, Because I didn't feel like Michelle anymore. I didn't feel like Michelle yet. Right. Because my identity was something else. And then it took me like at least two years to feel comfortable mm -hmm. presenting myself and go mm -hmm. by Michelle. Because it is easier for people to pronounce. And sure. It is and I find it now pretty natural when I present myself, especially with an English speaking uh, native to right. say, my name is Michelle. Michelle. I go by Michelle. Got it. With my Israeli friends, I would go by Michal because that's, you know, it's more natural. It's how they know me. I love but, um, so, so now I, I you know, I, I have these two identities coexist within that's me. That's great. That's and I great. I feel comfortable with both. <laughs> I love it. And I love the way you put it for your marketing, Michelle. Michal Gelfan, right? Is that how you pronounce so, your last name? Gelfan? Gelfan, yes. Gelfand. And the okay. Gelfan is, is funny because my fa my last name is taken from my husband's name. Yes. And his father came from Chile. Oh. Now, the origins of the family are from Russia. They also ran away uh, to <laughs> Chile. And in, when you speak Spanish, and if you have a G... E L that would be a H sound, yes, yes, not a G sound. Right. So they added the U, and now G U E is a G. G so it's Gelfan. Gelfan. Yes. Oh my goodness. And then yeah, and then my mother, my mother-in-law mm. is from Morocco. Oh. Of so course. we are a mix. Uh, a mix. My children are mixtures of four different Beautiful. origins, and you know, cultures and and cuisine and um, oh. languages. 
So my tribe, my tribe, my kind of tribe, yum, 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 love, love, love. It's phenomenal when we're embraced and actually let's be part of that conversation when we embrace the global resonance of all the uniqueness that we are, where we are, you know, our background, where we come from, our ancestry, and we embrace it and not getting stuck along the way. Not we, only we embrace it now, Michal, but, Michelle, but we also are activators of new genetic, you know, uh, awakening and, and technology within ourselves. So let's, let's find out a little bit more about where are you going but let's find out now, what did it take for you to awaken to that idea that you are going to help people with holistic? What, was it a, a specific experiences or an experiment in your life that taught you and told you, hey, this is the path where I'm going? So um, I think sometimes it, it's only when we look back at things in retrospect that we mm. get to connect the dots. Mm. We don't always understand in the happenings of things where mm. life leads us sometimes. Mm. And to me, um, I always allowed myself to follow uh, my passions in a way. Mm -hmm. So when I was young, when I was 13 years old, I went to a summer camp in English for a week mm -hmm. and I fell in love with it. English native speakers, um, counselors, and I fell in love with the language of English and it was obvious to me that I'll study English in university. And I was looking for opportunities to speak with people. As I said, for me, language is a, a connection, a bridge to human connection. And so it was obvious to me to study English linguistics in university. When I graduated that with honors, by the way, it was easy and I loved it. Um, I thought to myself, what, what will I do with this degree now? Mm -hmm. Now, many people turn to, um, turn to teach English in high sure. schools. I didn't want to be an English teacher. That was not my goal, but I did find myself, um, go into a high tech company sort of by mistake i would say because i worked there during the summertime when i was a student mm -hmm. and they told me come back after you graduate come back and we'll see what we can offer you hmm. and i thought to myself i mean what should i do i'm not coming from the computer science world <laughs> um what can i offer but then my English was my bridge into high tech because I was the one and they incorporated me into marketing roles because ah. I knew how to write in English and how to speak in sure. English and I became, um, I got various marketing roles. So starting from marketing communications manager and uh, industry analyst relations manager where I got to go and represent the company and build relationships with the analysts and update mm. them, product marketing manager mm. and all of this. And so I worked like for 14 years in this industry. And then my last job, I went, I was a marketing director in a company, but the founder and owner of the company um, had a, a quite a toxic way of communicating with others and he uh, would shout at everyone around him. Wow. And although he did not shout at me, um, mm. I was witnessing this and yes. it didn't make me feel mm. right. And mm. for me, the moment that I could step away, mm. um, I did. And it was, uh, when I was um, giving birth to my third child, mm -hmm. I was a, um, I was a mom at an early age. I was um, um, my my first child came when I was 24 and a half years old. Mm -hmm. With my third child, I was already 37 years old, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I wanted to experience my motherhood and be present. Oh. And I said, this will be a great opportunity to be present, fully present with my motherhood, oh. and resign. Oh. And Yes. So for me, it was the first time that I allowed 
to trust mm. the universe mm. into going into the unknown and yeah. seeing where it will take me because uh. I was very much wanting to be in control in life and here I said I'm just surrendering okay so and hold, hold 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 take a nice deep breath if you're watching this she's just she just really anchored a very very much a very important key to your next step if you feel stuck right now listen to this go back to that conversation and listen how she presenting this key through her very much experienced pure knowledge from her life and look what she's sharing with us right now it's so important ah uh, so to surrender and to acknowledge right you said something that was very key I, i'm not sure if you could say it again so you stopped right you stopped what you were doing basically to listen to what the universe was transmitting to you you went in inner to this inner search your inner reality and you start to listen right so so at first it started with sensations of feeling uncomfortable where mm -hmm, i was mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. instead of mm. holding on to something that didn't feel right mm. for quite some time it was mm. almost it was a year mm. I said I need to listen to myself mm. I have a this is this is not a place for me mm. and I would like to be present mm. to be present with my motherhood Ooh, and feel that beautiful I felt it that's amazing oh yeah beautiful that is very sacred and okay so I was fully present mm. I did not open any internet at that time mm. I was breastfeeding and I was it was about almost two hours or three hours but I felt so blessed mm. I felt so blessed to have that moment I did not take it for granted uh, I had an earlier attempt to uh, get pregnant which I had a miscarriage so this one I really cherished mm, bless you. and yes and i was wondering how come a mother can wake up in the middle of the night to breastfeed and i didn't even feel tired right and i said this is amazing the body is flooded with yes. hormones with oxytocin with the hormones yes. of love and healing yes. oh, yes. just to nurture uh mm. the child mm. and as i was like this for about half a year at home i then started to think okay so what will be the next thing that i'll do <laughs> And I was wondering, I was opening up with wonder, what yes. will that be? Mm -hmm. And I remember having a friend at the time, she was experiencing the same thing, a similar thing as I did. Mm -hmm. And she started her uh, spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. And she said, well, send the question to the universe and the answer will come. Mm -hmm. And I'm... I was still very disconnected from what what do you mean <laughs> and, and I remember walking with a stroller with a baby in the street looking at the sky waiting for something to fall on me and tell me what am I supposed to do I was still in a very questioning place and one day as I was fully present and in a moment of gratitude as I was breastfeeding my child I had a calling and the calling was NLP and guided imagery now I didn't know anything about it at the time and the only things that I could relate to that was that the weekend earlier my mom told me that my sister went to a session with NLP and guided imagery and did not connect she didn't like it and the second thing that I remembered was that a year and a half earlier I was at a marketing conference mm. where one of the sessions was NLP and business now I didn't remember anything about that session only that the L in, in NLP stands mm. for linguistics Got and it. I have a BA in linguistics and I remember that it was interesting mm. so this 
this was the only thing that I had in mind, but I felt the urge. I felt compelled to say, this is it, without even knowing what am I talking about. So you didn't question it. You didn't question it. This is important. She does not question. She heard the calling. She didn't say in her head space, I don't understand. I've got to do, do my research. Yeah, 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 mambo jumbo. She felt the connection and she went with it. And thank God you did. So what's next? Yes, so I went to the internet and I checked. It was already May that year, in the middle mm -hmm. of the year, mm -hmm. and, I, and I saw um, an invitation uh, to an introductory evening for NLP coming up in two days, and <laughs> where they said that normally they start in October, the beginning of the year, but now they're starting a different uh, way to, to pack it, and it will mm -hmm. be full days for, I don't know, for how long. And at that time, you know, I was with the baby at home i didn't have a daycare i was breastfeeding fully thinking how am i going to do this but as i was driving my car because i said this is for me i mean wow. i was calling my mom telling her you're going to take care of the child one half of the day i was calling my mother-in-law mm. you're going to take mm. care of my child the other half of the day mm. by that time you'll be eight months old he'll start eating you know That's more right. fluids and other stuff and i can skip one breastfeeding and everything is set and so I just went to it mm. and, and I found an abundance oh. of amazing things that were heart opening and, oh, Michelle. and for me, it connected my two passions. Oh. It connected my passion for people, for connection with people, mm. the one-on-one -on -one connection mm -hmm. with people, <laughs> and it connected my uh, curiosity for languages. Because to me, it was studying the language of the mind and how we can connect with the unconscious mind and connect with, communicate with ourselves and with others mm. to, to feel better, to heal, to spread more love and, and, and feel that from within, outside. That's just an incredible story, an incredible story of an incredible light warrior living in the physical having the problems that we all have see guys we all have problems we all have babies we all have to be fed and feed the others we all have bills to pay we all have relationships sometimes issues and yeah 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 and the list goes on but some of us don't hear the excuse we go beyond that and we listen and serve to the calling we listen and serve our purpose and so she did. And again, thank God, inshallah, that you did, because now you're helping a lot of people with this, right? So talk to us about the holistic part of that, which is what I described and the, my desired outcome. So better question for you. What would an individual that is searching for answers, for instance, rather it is physical healing, emotional healing, and all of together because it's obviously one, <coughs> excuse me, what would that individual um, would be seeking in order for you to help them with the holistic part of things? You know what I'm saying? Who who's your best audience in kind of a question, but who who you who are you helping right now? So um, first of all, I noticed that a lot of the my clients mm. are women because okay. a lot of women are ready to yes. explore and are ready to mm. do the work mm -hmm. and are ready to. Um, to do the the inner mm. work and better themselves. Yes, uh, there are a few men as well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but normally um, a lot of women. Um, mm -hmm. They're normally around ages um, 30, 35 sure. and plus. So these are the ages where we become more self-aware and are mm -hmm. more open to uh, do the work and especially yep. when sometimes when a lot of women feel frustrated or mm -hmm. stuck mm -hmm. um, in, in whatever life's mm -hmm. um, pressure and stress, sure. 
is is coming on now the thing about the holistic thing is yeah. that everything is really everything is related in our life so mm -hmm. we, we may feel um stressful in the work environment we may feel stressful with our relationship mm -hmm. with our partner we may feel stressful because of the relationship with ourselves and others it doesn't really matter where that is mm -hmm. And the thing is, and a lot of times it manifests, the pressure and the stress is manifest into physical symptoms right. as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So Absolutely. for example, I had a client who came to me, well, she suffered from migraines for mm -hmm. a long time. Mm -hmm. And she said she went to the doctors and, and I do encourage people to first of all, check with the doctors, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure that it, whatever, and they couldn't find anything. Um, but she had she she felt um um the stress she, she was uh, dealing with um um her teenage uh, son it was um she didn't see very she, she was confronting with him and eventually we worked on so i call what i do um holistic results oriented approach yes because first of all we focus on what it is that the person wants to achieve in their life Awesome. Right. Because in many cases, we're just stuck with what we don't want in our life mm. and it occupies our minds and we're mm. busy with feeling the distress of mm. being in a place we don't want to be at. Amen. So the first thing mm. to do mm. is to identify and sometimes for the first time, because people don't stop to think about it, what it is that we want instead. Mm -hmm. identify in what it is that we want instead so shifting and replacing that image of our reality yes. okay so identify. yeah so first of all it will be to identify what it is that we want to change what it is that we want to shift what it is that what is our desired mm -hmm. outcome mm -hmm. instead of what we don't want mm -hmm. and because our mind is filtering everything and we have just so much capacity with our conscious mind uh -huh. if we focus on the bad things in our life we're going to see more of them mm -hmm. and if we want to make a change we better start wiring our mind and wiring our brain to Love the that. place that we want to be instead Love so that. that would be the first step define what do you want to achieve mm. what do you aspire where do you want to be instead what is your desired outcome? I'm writing everything down because it's beautiful. Um, I love hearing your, uh, your talk when you speak on stage and why not. I love seeing your presence. I love seeing your shine. I love seeing your really empowering other when you are, I see you, you know, I see who you are and you really empower others by um, stepping into your own power of grace and presence, I see it. It is so beautiful because when you speak, you speak from that place, uh, it's so genuine, it's so relatable, it's not so out there. Everyone can understand what you're talking about. You know, I love that about you. So sorry, I didn't want to cut you off, but I wanted to make sure that I, <laughs> I, I said this because it's important um, for, to me and to, to, to acknowledge who you are, to acknowledge you. Thank you. So thank you. Yes, of course. So the, the next actually worked on in her case was to um, build that self confidence and mm -hmm. self trust. Mm. And when we did that, um, eventually the headaches and the migraines were gone. Mm. All of a sudden, her relationship were, with her son got better. She started <laughs> a new initiative of focusing on, on things that she loved to do, like cooking and hosting people so everything was great or like i had another oh, i had sweet. another client who came to me with an allergy mm. with a seasonal allergy mm. and nlp has tools for this to help overcome allergies very quickly mm -hmm. and what we found out or you know the way i direct people and i sure. and i ask the questions asking her when did that begin yep Yep. She started going back in time mm. 
to almost 18 years ago and she realized it started after her father died of course of course and and this element was never addressed before no, no. and okay. so so we started relating to um the process of forgiveness mm -hmm. the process mm -hmm. of a farewell from mm -hmm. her dead mm -hmm. father mm -hmm. and eventually these things manifest in the body and after we release that energy mm -hmm. uh, there is no need for the body to send us those physical ailments or physical mm -hmm. symptoms as reactions oh, amen. so in a way so it is a combination of being holistic because it relates to the mind body soul spirit all these levels and it it focuses you on what it is that you do want and eliminate and releasing your unconscious inhibitors mm. that stand behind it mm. whether it will be a limiting belief that you carry on for so many years mm. since your early childhood because of Oof. your life experiences Oof. so once we clear that out mm. really in a holistic manner then you are free then you are mm. able to just be you mm. uh, and not just having all these layers of protection um, so yes and it's wonderful it's really beautiful to see how people can shine their light again oh, what a and gift. be themselves what a gift and you know you're using the NLP the tools that you're using and they are tools you are the instrument that's what that's what we we have to get to a, a place of more um, holistic within ourselves too when we are doing this type of work that you're doing and as you know you are the instrument so for you the preparation and for you to work on yourself as this master coach is as important it's like you know when I tune my guitar my guitar couldn't be uh, beautifully sound uh, in key if I don't tune it so us as instrument you know and in God consciousness instrument we are uh, really how we don't have an option to tune ourselves in especially if you are in a coach, coaching industry you know and so and it's beautiful that you share with us all of your life experiences Michael because it really you are walking the walk and talking the talk you know you really have used those tools in your own life so and that's to me what a coach and a mentor should be in alignment with right yes so once that person is removed has removed those emotional blocks it's interesting to me that a lot of time like you tell us the physical wound gets clear as well is this so interesting right how powerful the mind is and just how the work that you can offer can get that individual in trinity the body the mind and the spirit as one so they can be free you can be free and leaving the life that you were ordained to leave you know and so beautiful so you have children right you have how many children do you have i have three you have three okay and I'm sure living in your space, they're now, <laughs> they're now getting all the wisdom, right? On uh, they're like, mom, I have a headache, come and help me <laughs> every minute. You know, I have this going on, you know, help me. Uh, um, they're like, uh, so, so with, uh, I have to say that I did, um, so since, so my kids, I have various ages. The yes. youngest is almost 10. I have mm. 18 and a half and 22 mm. and a half. Ah, la, 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 la. And yes. And so um, 
the youngest was born into the world of NLP, right? Because I right. just started <laughs> studying it when he was born. That's right. Uh, and it's amazing. And how, and also with my other children, it's amazing how they already sometimes talk back at me. You know, if I find myself stressful, they may, you know, coach me back <laughs> with the tools that I gave them. Uh, it's nice. Or sometimes when I... Uh, when someone has like a physical ailment, they know how to trust their body oh, to wow. heal themselves. Um, so for example, a small thing, my, my younger one, when, I don't know, it was a few years back, mm -hmm. he started having the pink eye and you know, okay. it's very contagious with children. And I, and it was just two days before we needed to travel. Oh. you know, take an airplane and have a 14 hour flight to visit oh, our no. family. So I said, okay, let's, let's see a doctor first mm -hmm. and maybe we'll need some antibiotics just in case, because it looks like it's the pink eye. <laughs> so we went there and the doctor did approve that it is the pink eye and here's the antibiotics. And I said, okay, thank you. Uh, we're not going to use it. I, I bought it just in case. Wow. And I said, we're not going to use it. And I told my son, you know what to do now, right? And he said, yes, mom. Aww. So he started imagining his body healing and his eye becoming uh, healthy again. And the following day, there was nothing. Wow. It was all clear. This is so powerful. So, wow. Thank you for sharing this because this comes from your children you guys this is what you know her life is like and it's like we have to get to that place now in this in this age of enlightenment to step in to a reality of healing of pure healing you can go in your body you can go into your dna you can go and make those changes so the belief that you have about yourself has to be absolutely with no doubt knowing who you are as a light being. You can actually go into yourself and heal yourself. And she's sharing this experience with her son and her eye who actually, he healed himself, you know? And so we don't have excuses yes the doctors are great and we need them bless you they're changing lives and they're saving lives but we also have to make sure that we tune in to our inner technology because we are as individual each one of us we are so powerful and beyond right so michelle you opening that door to people what's next for you i know you're speaking quite a bit uh, are you planning on traveling and speaking? Are you planning of writing a book or, I mean, what's next for you? Wow. I feel like the, the world is full of opportunities <laughs> that I even have to <laughs> tell myself, where do I go first? <laughs> and, go. and sometimes it's, oh yeah. And sometimes it's, it's overwhelming because mm -hmm. there are so many things that, you know, I yeah. can, yeah. I can help people and, and do. Yep. So I have my one-on-one -on -one coaching where I help uh, people. Um, I also wrote um, a children's book. Um, I didn't publish it yet. It's really it's still in the Word document. Oh, you did? But I wrote a children's book for self-healing, um, and it's it's in Hebrew. Um, I may have it, you know, later on translated to English. Of um, but I wrote it in my in my mother tongue. Um, oh. I was also thinking of one day, you know, writing a book about the cases that I've seen in my practice. Yes, because I've held over thirty cases of people with who had some kind of physical ailments, mm -hmm. uh, Crohn's disease, mm -hmm. insomnia, uh, vertigo, mm -hmm. um, migraine. viral words. Mm -hmm migraine, mm -hmm. um, so many things that relate to the body and with the inner work yep. were released and cured and healed so that um, oh, I'm now working on thinking of, I'm working on um, an online course that okay. will be called My Desired Outcome okay. program. Pretty beautiful. And, and seeing how to 
allow people that can go on the one-on-one -on -one session okay. um, to lead themselves in the process of how okay. they can move from one stage to the other, from where they are right now to where they want to go and what they need to do, like okay. a self-paced type of course. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, for example, I was booked by a company to give them um, a lecture in a happy hour um, about uh, the power of words. Uh, and motivation and oh, things beautiful. like that so i'm i'm open wow. for that as well you know okay. the more okay. people um hear Absolutely. it the more they know they have more power than they yes. think they do oh that's so beautiful and the more you share your mes message michael the more powerful you expand uh in consciousness so for you to share your message it's so important, like go, 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 go. You know, I know I'm, I'm your cheerleader here and, and I'll always be supporting your work because you are magnificent, your work is magnificent. And now it's the time to really tap into those experiences and to heal from the inside out. And she has those tools to share with you. So how do we go, is it simply yourname.com to get to you or to contact you, like if somebody wanted to experience at least the first session, an assessment, what do they, where do they go? So they go to here on the screen, you can see over there, oh, uh, mydesiredoutcome.com. Easy. So they go to mydesiredoutcome.com and mm -hmm. there they can book a free 20 minute um, discovery call session Perfect. with me Perfect. and see if I can be of help in their case. Perfect. and how we can uh, proceed or if they want to uh, book me for a lecture yep. in their organization or something then they can do that as well and contact me through my website mydesiredoutcome.com oh that's amazing bravo and so where are you located now so i'm located in the san francisco bay area got you in california Mm -hmm. um, right now, I'm holding my, all my sessions online over mm -hmm. Zoom, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it works just as well. It works <laughs> yes, perfectly it well. <laughs> it does. It does. So it even really lectures does. or one-on-one -on -one sessions, you know, we see each other, we can connect. Yes. Um, so it, it works just as well. Oh, that's so beautiful. If you had a your desired outcome for for yourself and the universe has completely opened up clear and it's been giving everything that you dreamed of is being given to you right now what what would that look like in your in your field where where would you be what would that look like to you how would that you know what would that say would you have you know your own show i mean you can just dream on and make it happen what would that look like let's say in 10 years you have you'll be here in that time with all of your desired outcome what michael or where michael would be in her field of consciousness wow so i have to admit that for me i kind of like uh, still go one step at a time mm. and i trust the universe to lead me where i need to be uh, where I give my intent to mm -hmm. help out and just uh, proceed and still be open for opportunities and not limit myself to whatever my limited consciousness <laughs> would stop me. So I keep it open and uh, I really, in these, in these days, I really mm. uh, wish and desire mm -hmm. for some world peace. This is oh. my um, my truly intense some some peace and quiet and among people among nations um, among diversities um, to just allow for for peace. Wow! For peace, that's my hope. You speak the truth the way you oh that's that was so beautiful. Your intention is about peace and world peace. And it's interesting because it was a catchy question on purpose, you know, because here we are flowing with this orgasmic conversation. 
and and you you caught it. This is how conscious you are, because someone like you is unlimited and so gifted. You were really not supposed to know exactly how it's going to hand up, you know. And most people would, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's no right or wrong, but most people would think about that specific perspective, where they want to be, how they want to, you know, continue their journey. And for you, it's so beautifully tuned in to divine orchestration and universal orchestration that you had no doubt in your answer. It was like. Wow, you didn't answer by default with a program, you know. Oh, I want to be that in ten years, you know. It was just like it's about world peace. Wherever I go, I serve. Wherever I serve, I go. I love you so much. You are such an amazing light. Oh, wow, Michal, what a gift to have you here today. Is there any? Thank you so much, Regine.、Oh, is there any? To close, we'll close in in sound here in in minute. Is there any words of wisdom that comes that you can download for us that come through naturally without really thinking about it? And、uh, perhaps it's just beingness. But is for for you the language is so powerful. It's such a beautiful tool. Is there any words? Of wisdom that you can close with. Yeah, so I'd like to、uh, maybe close with a quote by Zig Zagler, and he said, "You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great." Wow! Can you repeat that a couple of more times? Yes. Thank you. You don't have to be great. To start, but you have to start to be great. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Wow! So just starting the journey, step by step, one at a time, and be consistent and persistent, and believing in the way. Keep talking. <laughs> keep, keep and、alive. I admire that sounds of of music that we can tune into the sounds of music and connecting to the soul and the heart and opening our hearts to each other. Allowing that route of connectedness between us, allowing us to be open and alive and aware, and allowing to hold the space for miracles to happen. Vibration, Michal. It is peace. You are the peace. You are the love. Beat at your heart space.
house You May all beings be at peace. May all beings be free from suffering. Thank you so much, Michelle, for showing, glowing your heart out for us today. You are a warrior of light. Send you lots of love. You and I will going to be speaking, playing together very, very, very soon. I know it. I feel it. For all of you who's watching the rendezvous with Juju, also make sure to check our tribe, The Mystical Entrepreneur, where Michal is also a coach in our tribe. So please join us, play with us on the higher path. This is your time to your desired outcome. Thank you, Michal, so much. Wow, much love, everyone. Thank you so much, much for having me, Juju. <laughs> Abundance, abundance. Woo! There we are. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching the show today. We'll see you next, 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 next time. Love, 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 love. Hmm.